in just over a year and a half, you guys have gone from some of the worst defensive numbers in the country to some of the best. Can you just kind of sum up what this defensive staff has given to this group and what it's experienced in in gaining confidence and ability to shut people down? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it, it just comes down to them restoring confidence in us, um, showing the uh, coaches, showing that they trust us. Um, Coach Madison, like, he has our back through everything. And I think, like, as a whole, we have become, like, brothers, like a band of brothers on defense. And it's really happening, showing on the field. And, and again, that just goes credit to Coach Madison putting his confidence in us. And um, it just translates to, uh, to the field. Thomas, you guys made this big emphasis with the shirts and everything about finishing against Michigan State. Was that a Michigan State-specific thing? that you guys brought out for that because of the past year and everything? Or is that some, is that a theme that's been going through the season and just happened to get the shirts and talk about it more last week? That's a, That was a thing. That's not only for one game. Um, I mean, definitely it, it did fit that game. That's why we brought it out. But um, that's a thing that we preach in winter conditioning and summer conditioning, um, finishing everything that you do, whether that's academically or um, – you know, drills or anything like that. So that's just something we preach as a team and finishing. Thomas, uh, it seemed like Michigan State was really going after JT Floyd uh, in Saturday's game. How do you think he responded to that? Um, JT responded real well. I think he played one of his best games I've seen him play. Um, like we, ha we haven't really been tested deep um, this whole season. And, you know, uh, JT stepped up to the table. I'm really proud of him. And um, he just got to keep on building off this game. Um, obviously, uh, as a team, it's not ideal to not score any touchdowns, but how, what does it say about you guys that you can still win in that situation? Um, just goes to show you that we're going to grind it out. It's not always going to be pretty. You're not always going to put up the flashy plays and stuff like that. But um, it's about getting a win no matter how you get it, as long as you get the W. You talked about the, um, the confidence Coach Madison has in you guys. Talk about how much confidence you had in him from day one, knowing, you know, he chose to leave the NFL to come be your coordinator. Yeah, definitely. Um, from help for him to leave a defense like the Ravens, some of the guys I look up to, like Ed Reed and Ray Lewis and stuff like that, and to come back to Michigan and um, coach here, <clears throat> it just goes to show you how much this program means to him, and um, it showed us that he really wanted to come back and get this um, defense, and most importantly. Um, this program going in the right direction, so it's a big deal. With the players that have come in here today, we've talked a lot about your guys' theme of every game is a championship game. But just looking at the standings, if you guys win this weekend, there's a chance you're already up two games in your division before November. So how important would that would this win be, just from that perspective? I mean, it's real important. Like you said, um, we would take like a two-game lead in the Legends division. <clears throat> But um, you got to treat, like you say, every game like a, a championship game because every game matters no matter who you're playing. And uh, that's pretty much how we look uh, our perspective on the season. The play you made in the end zone to help your defense hold them to a field goal there at the end, how does that rank with the most important or the biggest play you've made here at Michigan? Um, it, that was just, that's something I'm expected to do. You know, I read my keys. I made a play on the ball. Like, it wasn't no celebration after the play or nothing. That's what I'm supposed to do. You guys have uh, really held Big Ten teams down in scoring, but obviously Nebraska puts a lot of points on the board. How do you, from what you know of them so far, how will they test you in ways that maybe you haven't seen so far? Um, a really, <clears throat> a really explosive offense. Probably um, one of the toughest offenses that um, we've seen so far this year. You know, they're first in the Big Ten and like rushing and total yards and points. Also, it's really going to test us as a defense. Stuff. Um, it's all going to come down to our techniques and fundamentals of what we preach in practice. Everybody getting to the football. Um, you got um, Taylor Martinez. He's a real explosive quarterback. He's gotten better as a passer since last year. Everybody knows that. 
you know, you got uh, Burkhead, and then um, you got uh, receivers on the outside, like Kenny Bell, that can take it the distance. So um, we got to put in a lot of uh, film time and practice time this week. We're going to get this one in.